Everybody and welcome to Viewing Gods, the show where myself and Nicholas Price sit down to discuss the latest episode of American Gods. This week will probably be the shortest episode ever because this episode, this week's episode, was quite different compared to every other yeah. episode. In that, it was like a very straightforward TV episode. It was like yeah. we're just gonna we're just gonna tell a plot from A to B and. Uh, we're not going to fuck around. We're not. When when so, just get into it. I suppose. Yeah. The, the episode starts with a. You, you think you, you're like, oh, there's yeah, this we're Egyptian going back to the, murals yeah. thing. We're going back to like the. We're going back to whenever in Egypt or something like some pharaoh god or so, something. You know, something like that. And then they the camera moves along and it's like, oh, they're in a. It's just a casino in present mm. day or close to present day. And go along, and they reveal that we're actually looking at um, Shadow's dead wife. Well, we found out last episode that she was alive, but uh, what, is she though? Well, she's not really, but semantics. Uh, non, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Non-zombie wife. <laughs> we're looking at Shadow's wife before she becomes a zombie. If that's what they even call her in the show, I don't really know. No, don't. And we kind of just follow for the whole episode. How they meet, uh, through to Shadow going to prison and why, and then the the weirdest part was just where the, the episode just ends at the exact same place, and yeah. there's no cutaways to coming to America scenes. There's no cutaways to any random things. Like the episode is just this. It it just feels like a spin off, like, yeah. like chapter. Like it feels like a. So my my the most the the question I have first up, of course. Because I was wondering as, as soon as I was watching, it's like how much of this was actually in the books, if any. Uh, a big fat zero. That's what I kind of thought. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. So, does the scene that we saw happen at the end of this episode and at the end of the last episode is that that's in the book? Like he that walks they made into the hotel room. No. Oh, yes, he does. But in the books, it happens when he comes. He comes back from. Meeting technical boy, and then she's in the room already I think. there. Yeah. Oh, so they've moved yeah. it like way further down. Yeah. yeah. After the bank heist and everything like that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It works in the show though, because yeah, like you get several episodes of. But here's the other thing: if you watch the trailer, they have the part in the trailer where mm. they have the her line going, "Who told you I was dead, puppy?" Like, yeah. That line's in the trailer, so I suppose, once again, like, Pengu noise, don't watch the fucking trailers, I guess, because See, they give away things. I have a little gripe with how she is. It, it's probably just me, but she said, when she says puppy, it sounds like she's saying puppy, like... I thought it was poppy at first. Oh, really? Like, last week, last week when yeah. she had said it, she, she I, I heard, hello, poppy, and then I heard puppy, this week, like how uh, Hispanics say, like, puppy kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It didn't sound like puppy, but it's one of those things where like now that I know that she's actually saying puppy, I hear it correctly every time she says it. But until they did that whole scene, I'm in the middle of the episode where she's like, oh, you're like a lost dog or whatever. My puppy. I was like, oh, it's puppy. Yeah. (laughs) My bad. Um, so. I didn't ever think about that from your perspective. The, that I didn't even know what she was saying. No, because, well, she's only said it. I only heard her say it in the trailer and I heard her say it in the what the show last week and mm. I was like, Poppy? Hello, Poppy? I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Pet name? Sure, whatever. Who am I to judge? Um, so, the other, so, the show opens at the casino. She's there. She's a card dealer. Blackjack, yeah. something like that. And they introduce, they kind of start introducing very quickly that she's a bit of a, a thrill seeker or so, like something, like gets off on stuff because, and she gets... Yeah with the card shuffling and she gets yeah. annoyed at the the machines taking over because then she can't like she enjoys shuffling she enjoys shuffling and stuff like so that so at the at the beginning of the episode when all this was happening and she was like I enjoy shuffling I was cuz I didn't realize that it was her I thought it was somebody else like another god or something yeah well I, yeah I that I thought it was going to be a god I didn't realize party. it was her until shadow showed up really yeah I, know, I mean, I saw it was her, but I was like, oh, a god will show up in a second. And, like, 
there'll be a coming to America God scene like yeah. back when they first meet or something. It's like I thought they were still going to have a a God scene, but there never is mm. one. And then no. I was like, and then for a while I was like, oh, maybe she's a god. <laughs> but then that does that. Well. I was like, just really confused. But the, the other cool part about this episode that we we get straight away is that so Shadow shows up at her table and we get to see what Shadow is was like before he got toned down to the yeah the more boring Family kind guy. of lifeless person that he is in the show at the moment where mm. like he lost it all. And pr- like in, you see him at the start, the first episode he's in prison. He's just kind of trying to chill out, get through it, just stay calm. And then in the show at the moment, he's just in a, I don't give a fuck about anything. I'm just quite happy to die. Nothing really matters mood. Yeah. But this is the first time we actually get to see him as he was. And you kind of get an idea of what he did um what he's what his dealio was like as a, a criminal which was obviously same stuff yeah. as wednesday really like yeah. seems he was into a lot of uh, tricks and stuff like that hand like not like robbing places with guns or anything crazy like that like he's been he's a, doing a lot man. of been a con man yeah and slide of hand stuff and yeah. the stuff he does is pretty cool like he, he go although she catches him although that one yeah. he was trying to do with the he, he does the first one where when the waitress comes over and he like he leans over and then like swaps the chips when he already knows he's probably gonna win on the hand he's got yeah. he's on 19 or something like that thank you guys And then he goes to do his second play where he's like, oh, look at this watch. And he goes to do it and do it again. But she's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, don't do that. They've got, ca- they've got cameras in now. The casinos aren't what they used to be. Yeah. Your day as a con man is over. Get over it. Mm. Um, so you get to see it. And um, he's really he's really full of life at this time. Yeah. I was like, this is Shadows. It appears to have a personality. Good job. I'm so happy. <laughs> and... But then we, and she kind of likes it because he's a bit of a badass and she's yeah. like getting off on it because there's, oh, so before they actually officially get together, you do see that scene where she gets into a hot tub. Yeah. With bug spray. So, yeah, yeah. She goes to work, <laughs> then the machines take over, then she goes home. Yeah. She sprays the bug spray and then she gets some sort of idea. She's like, I'm going to get in the hot tub, cover myself with the lid. And just spray bug spray in there. I I just take it as like it's a getting off thing. Like it's a frill. Yeah, it's a frill ride. It's like getting off on the frill. Or something I don't know. like that. The motivations the di- are uh, just uh, beyond me for some reason. Yeah, I can't. I presume, especially as we get further in the episode, like yeah. when she starts cheating on Shadow and everything, it's all just like she's obsessed with the frill of everything she's doing. It's not even like. Know. It's, it is odd. It's weird, she's but just fucked. she's fucked. I, I don't really like her as a character. No. Um, but <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't like you lady. Um, so, but so Shadow and her st- start having it off. <clears throat> she really likes him because he's a bit of a badass and he's like, we should rob the casino. And she's like, eh, eh. and he starts doing card tricks and she likes cards, of course. So then she's, yeah. he's teaching her how to do card tricks. This is their whole point. Weirdest foreplay I've ever seen. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) Um, So then he's. But then he starts becoming. What would be the right word for it? Like more. House husband y. Domesticated, thank you. Yes. He starts becoming more domesticated, which she. Even that, he's changed like a complete 180, just makes no sense. Why? I don't know. It just just seems to come out of nowhere. I suppose. Well, it's like. Mm-hmm. He falls in love. Like, he's actually yeah, know, in love with her, so... I don't know. It's not that's, like, a, that's all I take it as. For me, it didn't seem like she was trying to settle him down either, like... No, she know. wasn't. He was yeah. doing it. He thought... So, he, he gets into this relationship with her, and he's like, okay, this is, like, the one. Like, mm. actually falls, like, head over heels, if you want to put it that way for her, for some reason. Because I'm like, oh, dear. Yeah. She's not... <laughs> um... But he does, for some whatever reason, and he starts, yeah, just falling into, like, to 
like I've got to settle, sell down, become a, mm. a good husband or something, like a good boy, boyfriend, all this sort of yeah. thing like that is. But yeah, uh, we're at some stage here, we're introduced to uh, a, a character to match her level of douchiness, which is Robbie. That's his name, yeah, right? Yeah, Robbie. Yeah. Robbie. Audrey and Robbie. Audrey and Robbie, we get to meet, see them having their family barbecue. Audrey's not screaming about dicks as being shoved in asses just yet. Not quite to that stage. This is when no. they're all friends. But straight away, I was like, this Robbie guy, not a fan. Not a fan. He's see, over there being yeah. a bit of a douche. See, um, in the books, it's different because Shadow met um, Laura because he was friends with Robbie and Robbie was dating Audrey at the time. And then that's how he met Laura. Mm, so she never worked at a casino in the books. Like she was a travel agent. Oh. Just Liberty's, changing shit left, right, yeah. and center. <laughs> well, it works in the episodes. Yeah. Because it explains, like, explains how they lead up to him getting to jail and everything. Mm. Like, it makes sense how it all happens. Yeah. Um, but Robbie, I was like, he's just over there. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Do you work out? Do yeah. you know how to fight? I'll teach you how to fight, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> is it, catch yeah. your football, bro. He was bro. talking about Cavragar and people going, oh. oh, people think it's just a Jew thing. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a Jew thing. I was, like, I was like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Can't wait for him to die. <laughs> um, Spoilers. With, with a dick up his ass. Um, well, not up there yet, but... No. Nah. I wonder if he died before he felt his dick getting bit off, or... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, wouldn't I never thought about that. it. <laughs> he might have. He might. The last thing he felt might have been his dick getting bit off, and then mm. died shortly after. What a way to go. 10 out of 10 on that one. Um, uh, so, yeah, I just, on my notes, I wrote down, I literally wrote down, oh, she's a thrill seeker. Shadow shadow becomes too normal for her. She's a thrill seeker. Um, but then the other part that, that like, weirds me out is that they, they don't really give a good idea of, like, the time that passes. Like, it no. seems like it's only, what, six months, if that? Yeah, something like, like that. Like, it doesn't seem long. No. So, they, they have... They didn't portray the time passage very well. No, but it doesn't. It doesn't seem. It's not like years, or it doesn't even seem like a year. It's like mm. they have their two, three months of uh, where Shadow's still a badass, and then he kind of yeah. starts falling into this domestication route he's going on, and then she starts becoming bored of him and asking for fucking bug spray to be brought home. Yeah. Anything you want from the shop, dear? <laughs> bug spray. <laughs> like. <laughs> So like, okay, <laughs> you fucking weirdo. Um, <laughs> but so, when all this shit starts happening in the show, the, like when she's, I just start feeling so bad for Shadow because he's like, he's like, just you know, he seems like a nice enough dude, and he's like, did, sure, he's a bit of a con man, but I'm like, fuck, dude. <laughs> did you read in, into anything where they made a point with every time he left the house, he took his wedding ring off and left it on that little Eiffel Tower thing? Did you read anything into that? No, I don't know. I presumed it was part of the, like, I just presumed it was like him going out to do cons or something. No, because he takes it off when he goes to the gym and you see him there just boxing. So mm. I don't know don't if know. there's any significance well, to it, but there, there might have be, been something, something for him to, to that. make a point of yeah. showing it. Yeah. I suppose maybe he's got his own dark secret that. Possibly. That'll be, that'll he be the He was fucking twist. Robbie too. He was. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy why does everyone like him <laughs> oh, what a dick Dan Cook what mm. a dick he plays him well he did play a good dick um, <laughs> then, now I wonder so, if that was his actual dick last episode two episodes ago just a good prosthet- prosthetic got done of it mm. they moulded it around it <laughs> just sit here we'll just mould around you Cover that little dick up. Um, so she gets really bored and then she has this really weird meeting where she's like, I've made you coffee. Come sit down here. I'm going to talk to you. So this yeah. is how, this is when you can tell that he's like fully like head over, like, because he, he's straight away like, are we pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> so that makes me think he wouldn't, I don't know, that seems weird to be like, if yeah. you're off cheating. He seemed like pretty genuine, like, are we pregnant? Like, that would be great news kind of thing. She's like, no, sit down. Look, yeah. 
getting pretty fucking bored of you. <laughs> we need to rob the casino. And she makes out like it's about money or something, but it's really yeah. just she wants the the frill, badass, do yeah. it back or whatever the fuck. I don't I don't even know what her issue is. Nah. She's she's all kind of stupid. This is desperate. Okay, this this is some desperate bullshit. Are you unhappy? Because I'm happy. Okay, you make me happy. Yes, I see that you're happy. From this side of it. From the wrong side of it. And I think maybe I resent not being happy. Not resent you. Just resent. It just goes from, look, I've planned it all out. There's yeah. no way it could go wrong. And then it cuts what went wrong. Like, <laughs> yeah. How'd you get caught? And you shouldn't have got yeah, caught. Yeah, how'd you get caught in prison? Um... But the, the, the other interesting part is, of course, that um, they, could, they could have made a deal where they did one and a half years each. Yeah. Um, and Shadow's he persistent on... Yeah, he's persistent. Like, no, nah, I'll just do all three years by myself. Yeah. This fucking guy, though, has no idea about his girlfriend because as, as soon as he's like, you can wait for me, right? And she's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, like... Yeah, yeah. Do you know this lady? <laughs> There's no fucking way, like, she's <laughs> yeah. waiting for you. Come on. Do you know what she just made you do? She just wanted to do rob a casino for the frill. And you think mm. she's going to wait for you? No. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen at all. And of course, it doesn't happen because one night their cat just dies in the, the weirdest fucking place ever. Yeah. Like, it seems like it's such a... It's like someone sh sh killed it, placed it there or something. Mm. I'm like waiting for that to be the next twist or something. Because it's just like spack bang, center of the room, like in the in the archway, just like... Mm. Before that, just there was like a, sideways. a montage of the phone ringing from the prison. Oh, yeah. And you oh, get the sense true. that she was getting fucking bored of it. She was getting tired of it. Yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah, I really can't wait for you. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I hope everything's going well. <laughs> yeah. And she goes to work and she looks yeah. bored going in and out from work, coming home, answering his calls. She's like, ugh. I mean, at one stage, you're like, I would feel for her if I wasn't like, you're a bit of a psychopath, mm. like, yeah. like, but cause I know I'm like, I don't like you. I'm just like, I don't yeah. even fucking feel bad for you at all. Like, just fuck off. Yeah. Just, just ring him up and say, I'm a psychopath. I'm sorry. I can't wait for you. And, uh, have fun in prison, <laughs> boy. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> So she, yeah, I don't know. The fucking cat dies for whatever reason. Robbie shows up to bury it. I don't know why she couldn't bury it in the backyard. She no, makes the either. weirdest big deal about it. Like, yeah, can you do that? Are you allowed to just bury them out there? What do you want about, lady? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, backyard's fuck? full of all dead pets. Yeah, it's like, is, I don't know. Is America? Does America have too much freedom where they can't bury pets in the backyard? Is that <laughs> America? <laughs> America, fuck yeah. Killer cunt, he's walking in front of your yard because he's different <laughs> colour than you. But don't <laughs> fucking bury an animal. <laughs> ah, good old America. Um, so <laughs> this um Robbie shows up. They do, and of course. So the the quote was where I'm like, fuck, I hate this guy. He yeah. he goes from he he goes, You guys referring to him, her and Shadow. Yeah. You guys are like our best friends, mm. referring to himself and whatever the fucking Audrey. his wife's name is. Audrey. You guys are like our best friends. Ten seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a fucking cunt. Like, mm. I could, I'm just like, I hate you both. And I didn't, like, I'm not even feeling bad. It's not even like, what you like, it's just like those two. I'm just like, I hate both of you. Everything yeah. that's happening on screen right now, I hate all of you. Hmm. And I'm just like, all of a sudden have a, a big... See, here's what's going to fuck me over. is I say all this and I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for Shadow. And then next episode, they'll be like, Shadow was fucking someone else on the side as well. And I'll be like, fuck all of you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are all shit. Don't like any of you. You all deserve each other. <laughs> I'm like, cool. American Gods season two, where every character is shit. All right. I'll be like, I don't even know who I'm rooting for anymore. No. Like, they're all rooting someone. So mm. I'll root for Bill Quist. I'll just be like, at least I know what she is. I know what she's about. Two episodes without any vagina eating. Also on the count, if anyone wants to keep count. Yep. Full First two episodes, episode right? without dick or vagina eating. It's fucking crazy, actually. Mm. It's very, very low on the news. It's not the show I grew up with. <laughs> um... 
So she she more or less begins re- living off the frill of the fair. I don't even know if she likes him. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. even know if she likes. I don't even know if she likes Shadow. At the end of the episode, it seems like. She actually likes Shadow. But for the whole time, I'm yeah. like, I don't even know if you actually like Shadow. I don't even know if you actually like this guy. I think you're just doing it for, like, the thrill. Because there's that weird... Mo- like, he comes back the next day. Yeah. Like, knocks on the door. Like, and she's well, like... I told Audrey, are you, like- um, you had to move furniture. No, I'm moving furniture. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, no. Why'd you come here for? Because that was a one-time thing. And I'm waiting for Shadow. Yeah. And he's like, oh, oh, I really thought... And then she's like, now say what you really came here for. Yeah. I came here to fuck you. Yeah, well, it's not happening. Yeah. Oh. Then, like, steps forward and, like, yeah. takes her, like, a... It's like it's like her, she takes, like, a position of power because she, like, yeah. gets real close and up in his face and, like, that's what gets her off because she, she gets trumps him. really fucking close and just be like, now, what, what aren't we allowed to do or whatever? Like, she just... Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, she's getting as off the whole... As long as you understand, whole, I'm waiting for Shadow. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting off the, the, the fair. Like, that's the yeah. part that's getting her off. It's not... She's a weirdo, is what she is. What it, what she is. Um, uh, like I said, she's. They have the whole affair, and then we get to the scene. Like they're they're catching up. Shadow's about to get it, get out. Like we're up to we're up to basically where the show starts at this point. Yeah. And we get the we get to finally see the scene where they're in the car together, and you're like, okay, they're gonna crash in a minute, and old boy's dick's about to get chomped off, and they have this whole like. I don't know. Once again, it's just really weird. She's like, it's over. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll leave my well, I'll, I'll, Yeah. You leave Shadow. They'll understand. <laughs> yes. They'll understand. And that's what I mean. Like this, this guy, a dick mm. shadow, n- not a dick. As far as I'm concerned yet, <laughs> shadow, don't fuck me over. Um, but they both just like, so naive to like this girl's true motives or anything. Yeah. It's just like kind of ridiculous. But, so she dies, of course, and she floats up to whatever. Yeah, she sees herself above her body. Yeah, like a soul or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But Another thing I want to make note of is the two ravens flying about above the wreck too. Oh, yes, I didn't even notice that. Is that, that's notable for future reference? That's that's reference for future. Future? This season? Or do I have to remember this for season three? Oh my god! Just teasing my heart out here. Um, so she floats up past the ravens that will become notable in the future. Watches, um, sees old old mate Deaths up there, of course, and, and goes just, to yep. this whole scene. I, this whole this whole scene I found quite funny because I, I, don't, I really don't like it, but at the same yeah. time I found myself respecting her. Her like knowing what what she was kind of thing. Yeah. Like when she he when he goes to a, grab her heart, she she yeah, she's. Cunt. She, yeah, she knows she, she's a cunt. Yeah. Because it, it wasn't like, she wasn't like here, weigh my heart, like yeah. close one eye, like maybe, maybe. <laughs> she's just like, no, like, I fucking bang, know. Straight on like, the scale. Yeah, like just come on, let's go. Where am I going? I'm going to hell, whatever that is. Yeah. But but the, she seems like pretty, like she's fine with that part. But then of course, but then he's like, you're going to get in this spa bath that looks exactly the same as your spa bath and you're just going to go in there and it's going to be nothingness and- no, I like, there was the so bug spray on top too. The bug spray on top, yeah. yeah. So it's just like her hell. Yeah, is... it was like um, because earlier in the episode they had a discussion about do you believe in God and death and whatnot, and she goes, I don't believe in anything. Um, there's nothingness, physics, blah blah blah, and he goes, since you believed in nothing, you're gonna go to nothing. Hmm. Which makes sense. But yeah. then the weirder part is that, like, so she's very, she knows what she, where she's going to go, but she's still trying to fight against it. And Death, yeah. like, more or less tells her, like, lady, I ain't going to yeah. fucking remember you in five minutes. Get in this fucking thing so I can get on with my job. Yeah. Fucking just shut up, which was pretty funny. But then the <laughs> the moment that actually made me laugh out loud is when <laughs> she's like, no, nah, I'm not getting into there. And then she just <laughs> fucking flies yeah. up backwards. <laughs> and but the moment but I just start cracking up laughing is the dude's face. Like when he turns around, he's just like, <laughs> the <laughs> fuck just happened? <laughs> like he had like the biggest what the fuck I have put on. literally every single person that's died on earth through this. <laughs> and you're the first yeah. one. <laughs> and she just like zooms off in the back and he's like, um, <laughs> I guess I'll press my reset button on my success rate at my job here. Like, <laughs> you threw my average. Uh, I'm like Dob Bradman. 
And then we get some, so we get some answers here to some things, like, but then we get some more questions. But mm. so, so I don't understand how it all works, but so the coin, the lucky coin brings it burns back through, somehow brings it back to life. Or the coin is part of what brings her back to life. Because when she comes back to life, she sees in black and whitish. Yeah, it's like, like um, fully black and white. It's like negative. Fru- ne- yeah, it's like negative, but mm. she can see this light off in the distance, which yeah. we find out is um, shadow. She can always yeah. see where shadow is. Yeah. And then they do the line later where it's like, literally, she is the light of his life. Yeah. So I'm like, did the coin bring her back to life just because that? Or like, it kind of, to me, it kind of seems like. She's brought back to life to help him with something. Yeah. But the coin was like granting a wish or something. It's not like the coin was like, here, become a zombie. It's like the coin was like, I don't know. I I feel like there's more to it than just like the Mm. coin brought her back to life just because. It might have something to do with him sort of gifting the coin to her and giving her luck or something like that. It's pretty lucky if you just come back to life, I tell you. But, um, so... She comes out, and then we get the answers to the first episode, which the first episode cliffhanger, mm. and the second episode how it opens, and it's all very weird, like who actually saved him while yeah. he was hanging there. So she saves him because she's all of a sudden now a zombie with super strength. Also, mm. she doesn't seem to question anything that's happening very much. She's just like, right, I was just up there in the sky somewhere talking to death. Now I'm alive again. Yep, they cut me open here. It's all right, I'm a zombie. It's all good. Um, just the, see, uh, my my boyfriend is just hanging from a rope around the corner. No problem. That that doesn't usually happen these days anymore, except for, like, I thought this neighborhood was anti-Klu Klux Klan, but whatever. <laughs> some some funny-looking monsters here, I'm not going to question that. Might just go punch them. And she just begins punching them. I'm like, eviscerate. All right, lady. Yeah. <laughs> But the other thing I was wondering was, like, if she moved... I couldn't figure out it... I suppose when they showed it in the first episode, Shadow was just seeing it a lot slower. Yeah. Or something, because, like... It was dazed and whatnot. It was dazed, yeah. Because at first I was like, oh, wow, maybe she, like, moves super fast or something Mm. like that. But then it's like, nah, he must have just been dazed and stuff like that. And she purposely doesn't... He he doesn't, like, not see her because he just doesn't see her. He doesn't see her then because she's actually hiding. Yeah. Um... And then after that, so she saves, saves Shadow. So she got whacked on the shoulder by a Kramer. Yeah, and loses and her fucking yeah, arm. Yeah, her arm just falls off. <laughs> <laughs> arm just falls off. Now, one, one thing that annoyed me, right? On Amazon, when the, uh, when I went to start the episode last night, yeah. the fucking thumbnail has that the image of her walking down the street with her uh, with her arm in her hand. Yeah, I saw like, that. Falling off. I don't rem- was that was in the like, trailer as well. I don't think so. I, may, I can't remember it being Because I think I remember I seeing it before that too. I'll have to get back and rewatch them. Still, I was like, can you not make the thumbnail? Like, it looks cool. Yeah, spoilers, yeah. Can you, can you just make it... Uh, no, it's just like, why? Because then I knew that moment was about to come. I'm like, okay. So then the, as soon as I saw her standing behind the tree, I'm like, uh-huh, we're about to cut to a shot of her. Yep, here's the shot yeah. of her walk, walking down the street. Looks cool and all, but... Arm. It looks out of place. Um, what, her arm? No, I thought it, the, just the, the whole the, scene. It just kind of looked like it was from The Walking Dead or something like that. I mean, she's a zombie, so... Yeah, I know that, but it, <laughs> it just felt out of place. To be <laughs> fair, the whole um, episode feels out of place. Yeah, it's a, it's, it is a weird episode, but I still like the episode, but it is um, it's a weird episode compared to the rest. Um, so she goes to a house, and does stuff. I can't, I can't even remember what she does there. Nothing. Has a shower. Oh, yeah, Not she a has bar. a shower, yeah. Packs she some clothes. Has a shower. She packs some clothes and stuff like that. Then Shadow turns up, so she hides in her, her fucking spa bath without spraying herself in the mouth with bug spray. Good job, girl. <laughs> you fight that. You fight the, the battle <laughs> of your addiction, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then he leaves, and she heads off to Audrey's house where she's there because... She's she's like I'm here for your art and craft supplies. Like yeah, re- you get- she's sewing her arm back on. <laughs> I'm still just like, you know, I'm just saying like if if I was thinking about it, I'm like if I died and come back and I'm like okay, Dylan, you're a zombie. Zombies are a real thing. 
if I was like, there's no way you can just sew your arm back on. Because in my mind, I'm like, it doesn't work like that. Like, how did the, how did the, everything but did you see again, like before t- she was sewing it back on, her arm was still moving? She was still moving it? Yeah, the but fingers. she doesn't know that, does she? I thought she only realized that when she started sewing it up. Like, she got a couple stitches in, and then she saw her fingers move, and she was like, oh, that's good. Oh, maybe. Because <laughs> I was like, up until this stage, she's just like, I'll just sew it back on and then just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you flop it about. <laughs> just flop it about just for fun or something like that. I don't know. And of course, Audrey shows up and then screams her ass off, which is quite funny. Yeah. Um, this, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like this whole part. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Maybe, maybe just because it didn't happen in the books or... Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I, I thought it was a funny It was thing. funny, I but I, to, I just did, didn't think it needed to happen. It was like dark humour scene. Like, yeah. I don't think it was... It's quite funny just to see her, especially when she's like, oh my God, I need to go take a shit. Yeah. She's like, I need to take a zombie shit, something crazy here, girl. Can you yeah, just turn around? Yeah, like, <laughs> And then, I don't know, it says something about Audrey, I suppose, to the, to the stage that like, she still hates her and she's like... Yeah. She's like, she admits she's gone a bit loopy because she's like, you know, grief and anger and whatever have struck me real bad. She's like, I had my, his dick shoved up his ass and that's how I buried him and all that sort yeah. of shit. And, but then at the same time, they cut to scene after she's like helping still sew her up, which I'm like, mm. okay. Cause it, in the first episode, I was like, fuck this lady. I hate <laughs> her so much. Cause she's just coming off as such an asshole. She's but then the, the fact. Ends up being the most the, likable one of the four. Really? Yeah, mm. because it's like you, you can't at this stage you can't fault her for being so angry or anything no. like that. And um, the fact that she still helps her for I don't know what reason kind of proves that she's a lot nicer than originally yeah. thought. Because most people would just be like, "Get your zombie fucking ass like yeah. out of here!" Like, <laughs> just buried my husband. I know you hate your- me, you know all, but um, I need to borrow your car. Yeah, can I just borrow your car and can you help sew me back up and whatever the fuck else? And then, so she's driving her to, well, she doesn't probably doesn't really know where she's going. Nah. She's, she's just telling her Sees to follow the light. Yeah. The, the light like, just and go, she's just saying, oh, you, here. Shadow didn't des- or you didn't deserve Shadow and crap like that. Mm. And she, um, she must have known she was a cunt too before all that as well because she's saying, oh, you know that you lived a bad life or something like that or carrying on. I, I thought she was just referring to the fact that, like, she was, like, cheating and all that Maybe. sort of stuff. Like, you lived a yeah. bad life. Could have been something more to it. Don't know. Either way, she did live. She did live a bad life. Yeah. But now she's, she, for some reason, she's she's now, like, obsessed with finding... Shadow, yeah. She's like, Shadow, like, I don't know what her aim is. We, we still don't really... I, you don't really know what her, Basis, her game yeah. plan is. She said, oh, oh, you don't like Shadow like he loved you. And she goes, oh, I love him now. Yeah. It's like, okay. He's the light of my life. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> like, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, so then they bump into um, Death and... What, yeah. What's the other guy's name? Uh, Mr. Ibis and Mr. Jackal. So they're... Mr. Ibis and Mr. Jackal. Uh, Anubis and... I can't remember the other god's name. But they're, they're looking for her because, mm. well, A, she escaped from him. Yeah. And he was like, okay. But they're, yeah, he they're goes, helping um, her out because... I like the reference too. Like, goes, oh, I remember you. Because... Yeah. Because he said, I'll forget um, you in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't really get why they want to help her, though. Like, what was Yeah, the... that... Don't understand it at all. It's like... They go on this whole spiel, like, I'm gonna... They're like... They fix up her arm. They sew her arm back on properly. They take her to a, a funeral home or, like, a... Whatever the fuck they are at. A, a place and, like, start operating on her by sewing her back up like a doll. Yeah. And painting her skin so it looks more human-like and all sorts of things. And he's more or less saying to her, like, I'm going to help you out because you're, yeah. you're like in the middle ground between where I, like, I can't actually do my job to you anymore because yeah. you're technically alive, I suppose he's saying. But then he says, like, when you're done doing whatever it is you're going to do. Yeah, I'm getting you. You'll, 
I, I'm going to fucking get you just yeah. so you know. And she's just like, that's when she kind of just lays back like, okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> righto. <laughs> all right. Like, <laughs> okay. I and think that whole scene was more to set up who they were kind of for future, maybe. For future reference. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like we knew who he was from last week's episode, though, or the yeah. week before, whatever it was. Like, it wasn't Maybe. like we needed a big introduction to what nah. his job is in the world or anything like that. Yeah, kind of knew already. Um. So then, of course, the next scene is. Oh, there's something I want to say too. Um, one. the other guy, the one with the glasses, Miss Ibis, mm. he's the one because he's got this big book and he's writing all these stories down, and he's the one that does the coming to America stories. So basically, so, the scenes are what he's written in his book. They haven't like said that in the show. Though, no, they haven't. haven't yet. Although, I suppose every time they do it, they usually have it like like yeah, in a him written writing style. Because like, at the very start, yeah. there's him at a book writing down coming mm, to America. Or something. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and that so will also he... explain why, um, the one with um. Mr. Nancy, why he's in speaking modern and in modern clothes because it's a modern retelling of what happened, maybe. Uh, just a theory, yeah. anyway. Okay. I wonder, well, yeah, I suppose that's just like kind of a, like they'll, they probably won't ever like fully yeah. um, go into like the fact that he's writing them, I suppose, but one of those things that are good to know, I suppose. Hmm. Um, but that does make sense. Cause you do see like the writing yeah. stuff like that. Why is that his job? Like, why is that? I think it's got that... something to do with his role in the Egyptian pantheon. Okay. Yeah. So much behind the scenes stuff. Um, so then the last scene is the, the, they just redo the, the end scene of last week's episode from, from her perspective. What's yeah. it? What is it? Lara or La- La- Laura? Laura. 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 I keep forgetting. Yeah. Laura Moon, yep. yeah. So Laura, they do it from her perspective, and she hangs up a nice little bugs bug catcher yeah. sticky tape. How how nice! Fly That's paper. Really nice. <laughs> just getting all the flies coming around trying to get her. She puts on a nice dress and then mm. just kind of sits on the bed. And yeah, I kind of I did like how the episode ends because I'm like, well, if they're just going to tell this the story, like because about 15, 20 minutes into the episode or however long, I'm like, oh, we're just yeah. doing the whole episode. Yeah, like, I was kind like, of waiting realize, for that part to end. And then it ended at the Yeah, end. but when it didn't end, I was like, I kind of, I got it. I was like, yeah. okay, so we're just, we're doing the whole episode. Yeah. And in that case, I was happy that they, they didn't, they just ended at the exact same place. It was yeah. like, it was instead of like even, not even one extra line. It's just like yeah. ends at the exact same. It's kind of like, liked. it felt like a, when you're reading a comic, then they go, see, read this issue of another series. It felt like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'll be you'll be reading Superman, and then all of a sudden, fucking Batman shows up or something like that. Yeah. Hey, hey, I just had this crazy thing. Like, here's all the thing, and then there's a little hat star down the bottom. Read Batman forty seven yeah. to see how he got here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty much like that. Um, so, I was, yeah, there's not there's not much to talk about because, of course, no, nah, not it's, much it's, for interpretation. There's less. Not much happens that is questionable. It's just all very. There's nothing crazy happens. In fact, every basically everything in the episode that happens is just like providing you with information Backstory, to stuff yeah. you had. Yeah, it's like out of all the episodes, this one just gives you more answers to stuff than like questions at all. It's just like, well, why did they have the fair? Why did Shadow go to prison? Yeah. Where did he meet her? What what was the crash? Blah blah blah. How is she back alive? Well, they don't fully answer that, but they, it's it's basically just like an answer episode. And yeah. I suppose, I suppose doing it this way is a lot better than like if next week's if the episode after this had just been those two sitting on bed and they'd had like a ten minute scene of her like explaining it with flashbacks, like in yeah. between footage stuff like that, which is another way they could have like normal shows. I suppose would have done it because it's like an atypical way shows usually do stuff yeah. like that. So I suppose this is better. You get better view on it i didn't think this episode needed to happen oh i suppose i suppose the annoying part about it is of course that you're like well this is episode four yeah we've got four episodes left and we just spend an entire one on the whole eighth of basically 
basically, and the, the tie fourth episode is everything we'd already watched, but from someone's yeah. someone else's perspective. I didn't. I, did, I just didn't think it added anything to the story. Like you well, didn't that's really. Her. Yeah, I know, but you didn't really need to know that. I don't think. Or it could have been. Depend, depends. Yeah, I don't know. In depends the, in the book, how it. how big of a character is she in the book? Oh, she shows up quite often, but there's never like every now and again, like you get hints of the backstory and what happened. You never really fully told like how she gets to places or anything like that. What's happened suppose, to her? Yeah. yeah. Cause I, pre- I presume they're not going to, I don't know. The, I, it's it's I a lot think, more mysterious. Yeah. I think before you can like judge if this nep- yeah, episode I know. is actually necessary. It's just my gut kind feeling. Of have to wait. Yeah. Uh, kind of depends on what they do next. Yeah. Initial reactions. Oh. I still liked episode. It's probably my least favorite of yeah, the episodes so far, but it wasn't like I was like that was a bad episode. It, just, mm. it was just like a, it was like I watched it and I was like, okay, can't wait for next week when we get back to what yeah, happened back to the next. good stuff. Because because you have the exact same feeling as you you because the episode ends at the exact same place. You're still yeah. like, oh, because last week's episode ends and you're like, I wonder what he'll say. Yeah, and this week this week's episode ends and you're still like. I what does what he say? say. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you're still left at the exact same spot. So it's like after two, after two, you got to wait two weeks to find out if he's like yeah. shoots her in the head because he's watched too many movies or like <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know. Um, thanks for watching Viewing Gods, uh, the number one American Gods. I was about to say podcast. This isn't a podcast. This is a video cast show thing in my Bob where we talk about American Gods. Leave comment down below yeah. if you like it and you can there's old links and stuff like that and twitter's on the screen yeah. currently let us and know what you think we'll be we'll, we'll be back next week to talk about the episode where they actually go from the perspective of a completely different character and oh, show you Robin's everything dick. that happened up until this point i want to know what bilquis was doing for the three years <laughs> that he was in prison just saying maybe mm. we could have a look at that bye all right